Hey family, it's your girl Yo-Yo from Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo. And today we're going to be making this pendant that I have on my neck. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So family, I am going to be using Cricut Design Space to make the necklaces. My daughter called me yesterday and asked me to do these do a necklace for her um, and so I told her yes that I would so right now I'm uploading both images I'm going to add them to the canvas okay I have both of my images on Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to make the screen just a little bit smaller so I can work with this this bigger picture here so I can see it but I had I did tell her I said yes I will make the necklace for her and I've been very hesitant to actually make anything with my mother's image on it I started working on something else that I was going to do and I just haven't been able to do it bring myself to, to do it so uh, even today I said I wasn't going to do any crafting but not that crafting, actually crafting does um, offer me some uh, therapy. Like crafting is really like therapy for me. So I don't know any, I don't know about other crafters that are out there, but crafting does create a level of therapy for me. It has got, it got me through 2020 during the pandemic. Um, it got me through my mom's diagnosis so my mother was diagnosed with cancer three years ago and almost four and she passed away in june of this year and so her her losing my mama has been very very difficult like grief is a terrible thing you know grief is it is all consuming it is a liar grief is it's just a terrible thing to have to go through and so like I said I hadn't put my mother's image on anything but my daughter asked me to make her a necklace so I said I would and so how I ended up working it on working on this today is so my mama <laughs> she used to have um, a fire stick on her TV because she refused to pay for cable. So, and some of y'all out there already know what kind of fire stick I'm talking about, so don't try to act like you don't know. But anyway, so she had a fire stick on her TV and she used to call us every day to come over. So I live maybe like um, five minutes from my mom, from my mama. And she would say she needed somebody to come over and fix the TV. And I was thinking about her because I was here at home asking my husband to fix my TV because I couldn't get one of my one of my local channels. But anyway, and it just reminded me of her. And then I got almost weepy. So I I said, let me get up. Let me get up from here and go make this necklace for my daughter so that's what i decided to do because mama is on my mind and i said why not make a video so that i can show you guys how this necklace is made so i have made this before for others uh, for other families who have lost loved ones and so i um let me let me delete this one right here. I mean, well, let me add this one. And the reasons I keep, I've kept them for two reasons. One, because I like to use it to um, to remind me what size circle I need. So that's one reason. Then the other one is that I have families that come back to me and will want to purchase the same necklace for another family member. So. So they don't have to resend me the pictures. Sometimes I'll just hold on to them. Sometimes I don't, but um, there are some that I do uh, 
a I've done a lot for one particular family, so I try to hold on to it. So now I remember because it's hard to remember these measurements all the time in your mind. You're like, I can't remember every measurement to everything that I make. So it helps when I save um, when I save the images, and then I can just go back to what the measurements are. Okay, so what we're going to do this circle, I'm going to uh, just put it over where what I want to be seen in on the necklace, right? So because I, I just what I do is I pick a shape as you saw me do, pick a shape and then I'll put it over the image what I want to be seen in the circle of the necklace. And so then I'll just highlight the entire image and then I will slice it. Okay. I'm not worried so much about what size it is right now because I'm going to size it down to um, fit the necklace that I'm going to be making. Okay. So, and then I'm just going to, so before I get rid of my picture, I just remove the circle and that looks great. That, oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. My mama was so funny. Oh my goodness. And I hope y'all don't mind me talking about her a little bit today. So I'm just going to delete that, that part. And then I'm going to size this down to 0 0.99 because I like the way it looks. And that's what we're going to print. All right. So then I'm going to go over to the next image. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so that I can work with it. So let me also tell you this. So that first picture that you saw, that's a, that's my mother. That was maybe a few months before she passed away. And so this is her when she was younger. And baby, let me tell you, she loved this picture of herself. Okay. She loved it because it showed her when she was young. This is like one of her favorite pictures of herself with her afro. My mama had the biggest afro you could ever see. And so we're going to highlight this one as well. We are going to hit this slice button and then we are going to move the excess away and just look and see what this looks like. And that is so pretty. My mama was so pretty. My mama was so pretty. Now I could um, fix this right here. Um, I could have fixed it using my... Um, there's an app on my, I'm sorry, my laptop has a place where you can actually fix an image like this. That's a whole nother video and I'm not going to do that tonight. So I am going to send these two pictures. Take a picture, send them to my daughter and see which ones, which one she wants me to make. But I don't need this circle anymore so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this excess over here and I'm going to change the size of this to 0 0.99. And since I have my two images that I'm going to make it to a necklace, I am going to change the screen size so that I, we can see it a little bit better. And so there are the two images. Now, what I normally try to do, because that's that's a lot of wasted paper for just these two images. I may add some other things to the paper just to, um, you know, just so I don't waste a whole sheet of paper. Um, or I may not, because if I do this at the top of the paper, then sometimes I can get away with using the same sheet again. That's a whole nother video, too. Um, as not to waste the paper so just by turning the paper upside down but like I said that's another video so I'm going to just just for the purpose of this video I'm going to um, I just want to look at these pictures a little bit more <sighs> man I miss my mama Miss my mama. Okay. So family, I'm not going to cry today. I'm not going to cry on camera anyway. 
crown this. I'm not going to crown this video. So I am going to save this. I'm going to let me change the sizes again back to 0 0.99. And I'm going to go ahead and print, cut, and press. And I will come back and show you what it looks like printed out before I actually press it on to um, the circles for the necklace. So stay tuned, family. While I'm waiting for my image to print, I am going to pull out my necklaces that I'm going to be using. And I like this case. I got this um, from... Michael? No, no, no. Actually, I got this from... Where did I get this from? Ross. I found this in the craft section at Ross. I'm not sure if they still have them, but I did find them. And I like this, um, this little case to keep my jewelry pieces in. So I'm just going to pull out the necklaces that I'm going to be using. My daughter, she said she wanted a silver necklace. And I even told her I had rose gold. I don't told that story just that quick. I don't have not one piece of rose gold. So I have two kind. I have the kind, um, these um, necklaces. And they do come with the chains. Chain. I said change, Lord. Chain. They do come with the chain. I have these. And, and I also have them in gold same ones so i need to call her because i didn't even ask her which one she wanted um and these are let me show you the what you actually sublimate the picture on so these this is actually this is like i said what you will sublimate your picture on these little small circles and as you can see they have a um they have a plastic so when you sublimate on these and i will put the link in my i will put the link in the description of where you can get these i got them from amazon but you have to make sure please make sure you see that plastic covering that you are taking that off before you sublimate your necklaces okay I'm trying to remember, is there one on the other side too? No, there's no plastic on the other side. When you don't do something for a long time, you forget, you know, what your substrates look like. So, yes, this is the side. You just take the plastic off and then sublimate on this side. And so, I heat my heat press to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay. So I just wanted to show you what I'll be using. Let me see if I can find, let me find the chains too. So that's, that is the actual, this is where you actually sublimate. And please tell people when you make these necklaces that they are costume jewelry. Okay. I had somebody think that they were like real gold and baby, they were very upset. So I make sure to tell people that they are, um, that it is costume jewelry, but these are the two and they are 18 inch necklaces that come with the chains that come with the necklaces. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, finish printing my image and then I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Okay, family, so this is, these are my images. And I wanted to show you this. I was going to try to pre, I'm sorry, reprint it. And I will reprint it. I will. Um, but I wanted to show y'all this. This is what happens when you're, let me show you this. So I have an, I'm going to tell you what kind of printer I got. I have, let me show you. Okay, so I, I hope you can see those. Beautiful. Just, just y'all know how I get. I get so excited. And then it's my mama. So I'm really even more excited. But so I did this on my Epson ET4700. I printed these out. So you know what kind of printer I'm using. Sublim I, I converted it to sublimation. And I just wanted to show you this. You see this? You see the line is missing here? This, 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 this. Oh. 
I'm so annoyed. Okay, let, let, let's just be real. I'm so annoyed because I didn't want to have to cut these out by hand. You see, I've started cutting it out. I'm just going to cut these out by hand at this point because I'm annoyed. My, this is probably the third sheet and it's still, my print is still not printing properly. So I'm not even going to wait on the printer. I would normally cut this out with my Cricut, but if the if my printer is not printing my lines correctly, I'm not going to be able to cut this with my Cricut. So I'm just going to cut this out by hand. Okay. So I'm going to cut this out. And once I've cut the two images out that I'm going to use, I will be right back. So y'all just bear with me because I want to take this Epson and throw it out the window right now. Now, mind you, I do have a new Epson EcoTank 15,000. And <laughs> I took it out of the box, but <laughs> I haven't even finished setting it up. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. You know, I want to say this to all the crafters out there, too, before I move on. Move on. I know there are many of you because I'm I'm I, I, and I know this because I feel you because I'm 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 there. We have crafting supplies, we have crafting um, machines that we haven't even taken out the box, baby. I'm going to tell you today: take take it out the box, okay? Take the crafting machine, whatever it is you have, baby, take it out the box, okay? Just go ahead and take it out the box, okay? It's not going to make anything sitting in the box. Take it out the box today. So I'm going to cut these off, off camera, and I will be right back. But family, take the machine the Cricut, the Cameo, the Juliet, the Romeo, whatever you got, take it out the box. Take it out the box. So as you can see, I heated, I pressed, I'm sorry, the images for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Okay. And I am going to show you what they look like now. Don't do what I'm doing, okay? You really should use some heat gloves because these things, woo! I'm sorry. They are hot as fish grease. And it don't help that I'm trying to do it without gloves and without, um, look at that. Just beautiful, y'all. OMG, my daughter is going to love these. Okay, I'm really trying to do this without heat gloves and um, without waiting for them to cool off because y'all know I get so excited. So, don't, this, this is a no-no. Don't do this part, okay? <laughs> Make sure that you, and here's the other one. Make sure you wear your heat gloves. That is OMG, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? That is so beautiful. Look at that. Let's see if I can get the focus. Come on, focus phone. Look at that. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how I install them into the necklaces. So family, stay tuned. Okay, family. So here we are with our necklaces i'm going to move these chains out of the way and our images that is beautiful look at my mama <sighs> okay i'm gonna try to do this without crying because <laughs> y'all don't know if you, you just don't know i miss her so much and i'm uh, you know while i'm assembling these these necklaces i do have to tell you about my mama okay 
Um, my mama was everything to me, okay? Everything. And you don't know it until you lose that person. We spent, so my mom was diagnosed with cancer, endometrial cancer. Um, and unfortunately, when they caught her cancer, she was already stage four cancer. And what that means is that when they, when they put her on chemo, when she started chemo, it was already, a, as I said, a very aggressive cancer. So she, she did chemo for, for, she did chemo first and then she did radiation. And there was a point in time when she was off of both the radiation and the chemo for a little while. But what happened is she, um, the cancer was, was, it wasn't, it wasn't reacting to the chemo and the radiation the way her doctor wanted it to. So what they did was um, she ended up having to do another round of chemotherapy. And so when she did the chemotherapy, she, um, the body didn't respond the way they wanted it to. And so in May of this year, she failed. She had fallen. And when she failed, she was supposed to be, do her last round of chemo at the end of that month. What happened is she ended up doing, she ended up not doing the chemo. She ended up in the hospital and she made the decision that she was going to stop doing the chemo. And she came home, when she came home at the end of May, she was on hospice and she passed away on June 27th of this year. And we... My mother and I spent every day together because I was her, um, the, I have three sisters, but they live in different cities and states. And so I lived, I had moved my mom closer to me so that I could help her go to her doctor's appointments. Um, so, but before I finish that story, so I want to show you this part of the necklace. So I forgot to show you this when I showed you the parts. When you get your necklaces, they're going to come with these adhesive strips. And what you do is you, there's an, there's a, um, adhesive, there's adhesive in the middle of this, um, circle. You take the adhesive off the back end, right? Take the back end off and then you place the adhesive in the middle of your necklace, your charm, okay? And what I do is I press it down real, real good. Try to press it with my fingers real good. And then you take off this part, this covering of the adhesive. See, I'm struggling a little bit, but it'll come off. You take that part. So this, this what is left is the adhesive for your necklace, okay? And so we're going to do, let me see, which one my daughter wants. Oh, sugar. I forgot which one she wanted. Lord. Um. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, we're going to put this one on the gold necklace. Okay, so I told her I'd make her two of them anyway. So we're going to put this this image on the gold necklace. And I think my mama had to be about, ooh, I don't know. She was, she was young in this picture. But see how pretty my mama is, baby? And what you want to do is you just want to try to center it. And just press. Okay, just press it. Now, with these necklaces come a, like, clear dome. I don't use the clear domes. I don't like them. Um, and I've never had anyone say that their image fell out of the necklace. So, I don't even, I don't use them. But you see how pretty that is? Look at how pretty that is. And then what I'll do is I'll try to, I'll clean out off these fingerprints um, before I give it to my daughter. But you see how pretty that is? That is beautiful. 
All right, so let's do the next one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the adhesive off. Okay. So like I was saying, um, my mom passed away on June 27th. And we spent every day together. Um, I tell people that she's the reason why I probably uh, got gained all this extra weight. Because she had me going to... Um, what's the name of that place she used to have me going to to get her oh captain d's always had to go to captain d's after we went to a doctor's appointment uh or a chemo treatment or radiation or physical therapy because she had a lot of doctor's appointments y'all and so we, she would always have me go to uh captain d's after we left to get her a, a, a big fish sandwich i think it's called the, the big fish or giant fish or something i don't remember but anyway we had to go get one of those and y'all know that stuff is just as fattening as it can be but anyway i won't go tell her no no ma'am i was not gonna tell my mama no she could have anything she wanted okay so we have taken the adhesive off and now we're gonna put in our image i'm gonna make sure to center this and you just have to kind of play it by ear Get it in here the way you want it to. Oh. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, beautiful. Oh, I love how that turned out. Oh, I love it. Y'all see that? You see how pretty that is? Look at my mama. She was so happy. We were in... Connecticut visiting one of my sisters and my, she took this did I take I don't know I don't remember if my mama took it or my sister if I took the picture or my sister but anyway we were in Connecticut when she took this picture and she just was so happy she was just so so happy so I'm gonna end this live I'm, I'm sorry live I'm sorry I'm gonna end this video <laughs> I'm going to end this video um, by saying if you love, if you have a family member, you haven't spoken to them, you are harboring some resentment, I don't know, anything, I don't care. Let's just say it ain't even got to be that. Let's just say you have a family member you haven't talked to in a long time, okay? Call them. Reach out to them. Tell them you love them, something, anything. Because life is very short. And I can tell you guys, I miss, I, oh my God, I miss my mama with my whole heart. She was my friend, my confidant, my thrift store shopper, shopping partner, my let's go get a fish sandwich. Um, just, she was my friend. She was my mama and I love her and I miss her. And so before I cry on this video, I'm going to end this um, with life is too short. Life is too short to hold resentment and nobody is promised tomorrow. And you could be missing out on an opportunity to be with someone. I don't know who this is for, but you are missing out on an opportunity to be with somebody that you love because they could be gone tomorrow. So, um, family, because I, I, I think of all of you that, that subscribe to this channel, that watch this channel, that um, hang out with me and watch these videos, I think of you as my family. And so family, I'm gonna say to you, call that family member up that you haven't talked to in a while and tell them you love them, tell them you, you miss them and you know, whatever you guys haven't, whatever, for whatever reasons you guys haven't spoken to each other, it's not even important. Um, so with that being said, I love all of you family. Um, like to like my, like my video, um, subscribe to my channel and share this with your family and friends. And until the next video, Y'all be blessed.